Hey, it's Mr. Chang from Whitehead Elementary in the Woodland Joint Unified School District, and I found a way to get your videos to have Spanish subtitles. It'll auto-generate these Spanish subtitles. It's a really useful feature because I don't speak Spanish, so when I want my Spanish-speaking parents to be able to see the video, at least they'll have Spanish subtitles automatically generated when they watch the video. So let's go over to the computer and check it out. So here we are on a video I made about the first day assignments and news for my classroom. So if I push play, hey class, it's Mr. Chang and day one of virtual learning is complete. What a day, a lot of technical issues, that's for sure. It's something we're gonna have to get used to. We're gonna have to get used to navigating between. Okay, so that's part of the video. Anyways, if you want to get closed captioning done for the video, usually you just hit this CC at the bottom of the video player. And check it out. English auto-generated. So look at this. It's actually just going to, if I play some more, between Zoom and Canvas and Seesaw. And so you're going to have to get used to sort of either having multiple computer windows open or get used to... Yeah, so check it out. The auto-generated subtitles are pretty good. Not bad if, if I say so myself. But what about Spanish? What if you want Spanish subtitles? Well, you can do that. So what you do is you go to CC, Subtitles, click on that, and then after you click on CC, you go to the Settings. So I click on Settings, and look, it says Subtitles CC1 English Auto-Generated. Well, I don't want English, I want Spanish. Let's so click on that. Check this out, auto-translate. Auto-translate, hit that. And actually, you know what? You can pick from a ton of languages, maybe Punjabi. We have a lot of Punjabi students in my district. That might be a good one to do. Urdu or any of these languages, Russian. But I wanna go to Spanish, so here we go. Uh, here we go, Spanish, click on that. English auto-generated into Spanish. Let's see if it worked. Having tabs at the top and clicking between the tabs because you can have different tabs open at the same time. So that's something you need to learn how to do and get used to doing, okay? You're also gonna get used to making videos and... So to be honest, I don't know how good the translations are, but it's better than nothing. And I think especially for other languages besides Spanish, see we have a lot of Spanish speaking teachers in our district, which is awesome. And they can probably translate better than the auto translate, but maybe you want somebody who can, who needs to listen to something in their own language. Did you see that list? Did you see that list? They had a huge list of stuff that you can actually get translations into. So give it a try. I'm gonna try this for back to school where I actually you allow the students to, to show their parents how to get to this auto-translate. And in fact, what I might do is record the screen while I'm talking so that they will see the translation that's there. We've got to find solutions somehow to reach those parents. So there we go. Hopefully that was helpful to you. I'll see you next time.